Guys, my name is Kevin Fry, and this is the Nintendo Switch press conference and reveal in under 10 minutes. It started off with a crazy light show slash rave. Then Nintendo's president came out. The Nintendo Switch is going to launch March 3rd, 2017 at the price of $299. Then they started to talk about the online service. Here's actually a chart of what service subscribers are going to get. Online gameplay, online lobby and voice chat, monthly game downloads, exclusive deals, access to the eShop, register and manage friends, share access to social media, access Nintendo Switch, parental controls app. Unfortunately, if you don't pay, you're only going to have access to these four. But there is a free trial for the online service that will go through fall of 2017. The two controllers were showed off, the left and right Joy-Cons. Right here is the share button and right here is the home button. The share button is going to have screenshots and eventually a video to share to social media. Console is not region locked. This is a huge deal because if you wanted to play a Japanese game on your Wii U, you couldn't do it. They've been doing this for a long time and so I'm really happy that they're gone. All the things that they've learned from all the past systems are getting put into it, including touchscreen from the Wii U and the DS, motion controls, stick from the N64, portability of the Game Boy, classic buttons, as well as uh, awesome sticks and stuff like that. I don't know. Then they showed off what the setup's kind of going to look like in front of your TV. You're going to have the switch right here. It's going to be docked and HDMI cable plugged in. You're going to have the Joy-Cons and the adapter. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Next thing they did was introduce the different modes. So TV modes, just straight up plugged in. The next mode is uh, on the stand where you take off the Joy-Cons. And then the last one is handheld mode where you're actually going to have the Joy-Cons clipped onto the side and you can play it handheld. Uh, they wanted to show off that, hey, you got Mario Kart, you got a buddy, take off the Joy-Cons, you get one, I get one, and we play together. And oh yeah, regular battle mode's back. The Nintendo Switch is going to have USB Type-C, which is kind of becoming the industry standard. I'm really happy for that. You're going to be able to charge it on the go uh, when you're playing, and you're going to need it because the battery goes from around two and a half to six and a half hours, so not the best, but it'll do. The Nintendo Switch is going to be able to connect via Wi-Fi to other Switches. In fact, you're going to be able to have eight Nintendo Switches connecting to the same game at the same time. That's pretty awesome. Next, he just demonstrated that the sticks actually do click in, so you get a button there as well. This is the home button a little bit zoomed in, and this is uh, the L and R buttons. Here the guy was showing off, yo, I can even play the game while I'm chilling out and sleeping or something, I don't know. The Nintendo Switch is going to come in blue and red Joy-Cons as well, and that's so awesome. It looks super dope. Uh, they're going to have little Wiimote straps attached to them because the motion gaming is a big part. Here's a standard collection of four Joy-Cons, which is what probably most people will have. Two that came with the system and two that they'll buy separately. One of the Joy-Cons has an IR sensor, which can sense distance in front of it, as well as uh, what kind of shapes they're making, such as rock, paper, and scissors. This part of the presentation was insane. Nintendo says that the HD rumble feature inside of the Nintendo Joy-Cons for the Switch has become so good that it can actually feel like you're holding a glass of, that has ice in it uh, up to the point of water filling up the glass. Uh, basically, it is the most incredible thing in the entire universe. This is a game for the Nintendo Switch called 1-2 Switch. What it looks like to me is a big collection of mini games. You're going to be able to just look at each other in the eye and play. This is the game they're showing off, right, where you, it's like, okay, 1-2-3, draw, and you pull it out. But it looks like there's sword battling and I don't even know, dancing, I, I'm not sure. But <laughs> the possibilities are limitless, and that's what they're trying to show off here. This is another game that they showed off, it's called ARMS, and it involves boxing, but you're like these crazy robots that their arms go out, and you kind of jump around, and you dodge each other, and it looks pretty fun. It's going to be cool, a good workout game. Next they announced Splatoon 2, uh, there's going to be a lot of new features like being able to jump to any point on the map just by clicking the D-pad instead of looking at the gamepad since it's not the Wii U anymore. Uh, this guy was kind of crazy, he came out and showed that there's dual wielding, and then he did some crazy stuff. Uh, he showed, hey, you're going to be able to play with the Pro Controller, regular Joy-Cons, on the go, uh, handheld, and he said that every single mode gets gyroscopic control. So I'm wondering if that means that the Pro Controller also has some motion inside of it. Splatoon 2 is going to have versus network play and uh, local multiplayer, and it's going to come 2017. The next part of the presentation showed off a new Super Mario game. We've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Mario's running through the city, jumping off buildings, going into the desert, going into a jungle. Oh, and it looks so beautiful. It's such gorgeous gameplay. Uh, he's stinking jumping rope right here with some humans, actual humans in a Mario game. It's ridiculous. 
uh, his hat, you're able to throw it off because it's uh, like kind of got some Legend of Zelda Minish Cap stuff going on. It's alive. It's called Super Mario Odyssey, and they're shooting for uh, Holiday 2017. So it's going to come out soon. Then there's Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is a list of all of the developers that are partnering with Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch, and there's a lot of them. Dragon Quest 10, 11, and Heroes 1 and 2 are coming out for the Switch. They reiterated that Nintendo Switch is going to be able to run Unreal Engine, which is a great sign. Nintendo Switch is going to have the new Shin Megami. Tensei game, and it's going to also have the new game called Octopath Traveler, which looks awesome. Cool 8-bit stuff and beautiful backgrounds. Uh, yep, it's coming out. Corporate director of Sega Games came out and started talking. He was saying that new games are going to come out to the Nintendo Switch. Then Bethesda Game Studio developer came out and said that for sure Skyrim is coming to Nintendo Switch. That's going to be awesome. Then this guy came out and it was really crazy and awkward. Uh, he actually came out and was like, Hua! And then the translator was going crazy. He said, uh, well, that didn't go very well. The next few parts were kind of awkward, but he said that we created this character and he's coming to the Nintendo Switch called Travis. They don't even know what the game is going to be called and they're excited. But he said, hey, it's easy to develop for the Nintendo Switch and we're excited for it. Uh, then the EA president came out and actually it was pretty cool because Bill Trinan was translating for him. I thought that was really, really awesome. Cool that Bill Trinan knows some good Japanese. Uh, anyway, the guy said FIFA is for sure coming for Nintendo Switch. They're going to work on making it the best game as possible. Ching! Nintendo Switch. This is what you're going to get when you buy the Nintendo Switch. You're going to get the Nintendo Switch itself, which is the tablet. You're going to get the dock. You're going to get HDMI cable, the uh, AC adapter. You're going to get the Joy-Con straps. It's either going to come in gray or red and blue, depending on what you pick, and then you get the Joy-Con sleeve to put those in. So it's really awesome. It's going to be super cool. Nintendo of America and Nintendo of Europe got to do their little stuff. Reggie fils president of Nintendo of America, he uh, came out and said some things. Uh, Miyamoto was there and Anuma was there, uh, and they said, yo, when's this coming out? And sure enough, March 3rd, 2017, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is gonna come out. There's gonna be lots of voice acting, and then here's like Zelda or someone crying. It's crazy. This is like super emotional. You must save her, my daughter. <laughs> March 3rd, 2017. To end, Nintendo tried to show off a lot of the games that are coming out, and to be honest, I don't know a lot of them, but there's some that I'm super excited for, so I'll just pause on uh, what some of them are so you can see them. You've got the new Mario game, you've got Splatoon, you've got the Mario game, Sonic 2017, the snowboarding game, and Dynasty Warriors, Fire Emblem, crossover or something. You got Minecraft, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you got Boxing Game Arms and Skyrim, there's Mario Odyssey again, shows it being played on the TV. Splatoon 2 again, Minecraft, Skylanders, that octopus something game, looks awesome. Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest, Rayman, some Lego game, they're like fighting or something. Dragon Ball Z hype, Kamehameha! Xenoblade 2, uh, <laughs> farming. <laughs> farming Simulator, bunch of RPG games that are coming out and they're gonna be really good and cool. Skyrim, Sonic again. RPG something, Just Dance, which is nice. Uh, I don't know, something else. Some other game looks cutesy. FIFA! Ooh, good good block. Uh, I guess that's Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. One Two Switch. Street Fighter showing off the virtual console. Bomberman! I am super excited for Bomberman. I, I, it has been dead for too long. I'm gonna be playing the crud out of this. Some Tetris slash Peggle Dr. Mario thing, I don't know. Some other cutesy cutout game thing. Minecraft, what does the fox say? 1080, snowboarding, SSX, F-Zero. Just kidding, I know it's not F-Zero. Arms, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and then here we get a good shot of all of them. So let's look at this list real quick. Splatoon 2, Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure, Skylanders, Imaginator, Pro Project Octopath Traveler, Rayman Legends Definitive, Lego City Undercover, Farming Simulator, French Legal Lines. Oh, I didn't know what that was. Has Been Heroes, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Project Sonic 2017, Just Dance, Over the Fence, EA Sports FIFA, Cyberi Siberia 3, 1 2 Switch, Super Bomberman R. What is that? Yes! Yes! Minecraft, Rhyme, Steep, Fast RMX. 2K18? I didn't even see 2K18 on there, but I'm glad we're getting it.
So yeah, guys, that's it. It was an hour press conference. I was able to condense it into 10 minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching the whole thing. Uh, go ahead and check out the full video if you've got the time. I'll put a link in the description uh, to the YouTube live stream of uh, the Nintendo conference. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for all the support you've been giving me. Uh, and I look forward to actually getting the Nintendo Switch when it comes out. Uh, I'm going to be posting gameplay videos every now and then, so uh, please, again, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can click the button on the left to do that or click the button on the right to watch another video from my channel but thanks and i'll see you guys later bye